Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of New Star Soccer 5. I was about to say GeoGuessr, but I haven't actually played that game in a long time. I don't know why it happened, but yeah. Here we are, we're going to do some horse racing first of all. I actually have some subjects to talk about today, some kind of interesting ones. Um, yeah, this is going just well, you know, that's good. Or is it? Ah, uh, maybe? Oh, come on! God damn it. <laughs> Yeah, um, first of all, you know, I don't know really how to structure it, but we can start talking, I guess. Uh, today I spent the whole day working on a... What do you call it? Um, reworked, or, you know, if, if you are um, redoing something. Uh, yeah, a design document for a game. I actually I did fail. Yeah, an examination. Even though it was kind of, you know, just a little bit today they weren't pleased with. So I spent a couple of hours today and did write about that. So that's good. Yeah. Uh, that combined, I mean, I'll talk a lot about school today, I guess. So, yeah. I mean, I, mean, I talked to you in a couple of, not seconds, but episodes ago about a um, project that I'm in right now, a school project. And yeah, it was, it's been kind of fun, you know, it's been kind of exciting, but the last week I've slept really bad and I've had, you know, trouble sleeping and there's basically been, as far as I know, too much on my hands, whatever you say, not too much time, but too much stuff to do, basically. So I got a little bit stressed out and I had problems sleeping and yeah, um, it's basically kind of tough, actually. I mean, it should be tough. <laughs> what else? What else could you expect, basically? Um, but yeah, it's been tough. There's been a lot of things to do. I didn't actually really feel like recording anything. I did record some uh, escapes, but no, no new Star Soccer 5, so that's okay still, I hope. I'm actually banned. Okay, fuck you then, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we'll win this anyway. Can only hope, yeah. Uh, but now it's feeling a little bit better again. I kind of reworked some stuff in the group, so I have less things. To do, I mean, not that I had too much. To Come on, why are you stealing my car? Shit. <laughs> I guess I don't care too much about that right now since I have a lot of money. Um, but yeah, um, I. There we go. Let's just play this. Yeah, I. Um, yeah, I, ha I have a little bit less things to do right now, and that kind of feels good, as well as I. Yeah, I just took some time and took a day off basically and, and slept and relaxed and worked from home instead. So that felt good and now I actually handed in the redone design document so that feels good as well. It's done now. I can kind of relax now I only have to pay the rent and that kind of stuff. <laughs> but yeah, you know, yeah. if you start in Sweden you get kind of a lot of um, both loans and um, what do you call it? When you when the state gives you money, basically, um, bidrag in Swedish, they basically help you out, give you some money for studying. Yeah, because you know they want an educated population, and therefore they they help you study. Yeah, <laughs> as long as you you know, as long as you're ha able to to handle your studies. Uh, basically, you have to get a, a certain amount of points each term to to keep on getting the um, yeah, basically getting the the money. And money, you know, everyone likes money, yeah. Um, so that's okay, yeah. I mean, I haven't failed in anything too brutal yet. If I would have failed the re-examination, whatever you call it, then I might have had some problems. I mean, it's not too bad, but you know, you never know. You want to, to be on the safe side, basically. Um, but yeah, that's in right now. And now can I basically relax for the weekend? Yeah, there are some, some fun things happening this night. There's a gentleman's evening at the student pub. And there's a big dinner for them. I actually didn't choose. I did choose not to go. I didn't choose. Y you know, I did choose not to go. That sounds better. Because it was, you know, it was a decision that I made. I don't want to buy a goddamn suit just because of that. Because I have my other one in Stockholm. And I didn't really want to spend the time to basically go home and get it. But some people are going to have a gentleman's night. They're going to get served food and alcohol. I'm going to meet up with some friends at home instead and, and drink alcohol on our own, basically. So that feels kind of good as well. And then we, we basically go to the party that begins a little bit later at the same place. So that's okay. Yeah, so basically I can relax these couple of days. I can take it easy. I can hopefully feel better this Monday and yeah, be able to, to work hard again. Um, because, you know, we're, we're making kind of a lot of progress. I do like it. Um, 
I yeah I, I, I feel you know I feel tired I don't feel bad that's that's the thing I, I've thought about it a lot you know if I dislike anyone in the group I don't I, I you know reach the conclusion that I don't I don't dislike anyone I like everyone and some people are better than other when it comes to working and that stuff but most people you know are just nice persons we're having fun together um, but yeah I mean it doesn't stop it from being hard if I had a bad group I would probably feel a lot worse so we'll see what happens yeah um, but you know yeah it feels good but I'm tired so that happens sometimes it happens even to the best you know some people might you know what do you say in English you might burn out is that what you say you might burn yourself out or something like that in Swedish we say that you walk into the wall that's kind of kind of a fun saying as well I think at least uh, but yeah I mean I'm not there yet but if I wouldn't have been careful I might have you know get stuck in something and, and no one likes that you know no um, but yeah except for that what else can we talk about I don't know I, I kind of had I can I can talk about a, a kind of a funny thing I'm actually I've joined a project in which it's, a, it's an examination project a third grade psychology student um, asked people you know to 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 join her project and be like I'm, a, I'm basically a test subject no not really <laughs> but uh, the whole thing is that you you know you spend some time each morning uh, writing a dream diary and you're writing how you felt about it and you know what you dreamt about and all that stuff and she's somehow going to compare that to your overall psychological health and then yeah she's going to basically do something with it <laughs> it's her examination project as I said so I'm not you know I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit interested I'm not you know I won't basically go there and be like oh can you you know say what I basically mean when I dream about that and all that stuff but um, yeah I I'm looking forward to seeing if she if she publishes the results somehow I'm looking forward to seeing that uh, but right now we'll, we'll see what happens that's the worst goalkeeper ever he has stood there god damn it yeah but you know <laughs> participating in in that thing it kind of makes me remember my dreams better because I have to write them down basically when I wake up and it's a f lot of fun actually to, to keeping a, a dream diary um, whoop, whoop, nice yeah because you know yeah, if you just wake up and you start doing things you kind of you, you forget kind of quickly what you dreamt about and all that stuff um, but as it looks right now it's it's just fun you know yeah I mean I remember what I dreamt about I can basically I don't want to tell you no <laughs> uh, it's <laughs> it's kind of sick sometimes everyone dreams sick dreams you know you know how it is um, yeah, but I kind of dreamt one time that I, I was in some sort of a mix of a, a Battlefield 4 and Portal world. It was kind of weird. It was like Battlefield 4, but I felt like a Portal character, basically. And I was a sniper, and I sniped people. Then when I got hit myself, I kind of felt an uncomfortable warmth, you know, from blood leaking out or something like that. So that's kind of weird, but you know, it's only a dream. Yeah. Um. <laughs> and then, then I got captured by a bad guy and he kept me in some so, sort of a it looked like a big womb or whatever you call it some sort of a big tummy filled with green disgusting spikes that made made you sort of sleeping was some sort of a sedative or whatever you call it sedative sedative I don't know what you call it but you know that's the word and it made me sleepy and then then the person started to interrogate me in in some sort of a big muddy river that we were floating down in that was kind of weird yeah and then we went out into the to the real world sort of through a waterfall or something and out there you know it was big basically you know if you played super mario on nintendo 64 you know that green blue world uh that felt kind of nice i just you know i flew away Um if you if you're listening and you think who is this mad guy then I, I don't know you know <laughs> in real life I'm mad enough but in dreams things can get kind of crazy you know yeah uh, we should totally play the next game against Atletico Madrid is this it, it's a super cup did we win the the other cup can we take a look at that maybe I don't know where we do that competitions maybe 
Super Cup. I want to play. I want to look at the um, Europa. Yeah, I, I won the final. Okay, sure. F fair enough. <laughs> Let's play the Super Cup directly and see what happens. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm a crazy bastard, you know. I'm, I'm not too crazy in real life. I do. I mean, I think of funny stuff sometimes. I'm a creative writer after all, or I want to become that. So, you know, you, you, you need to have some sort of a crazy mind if you want to create funny things or serious things. You need to be, be able to think about things in, in different ways, basically. Um, yeah! But compared to my dreams, I'm a fucking lunatic. Yeah, or something like that. Uh, but that's okay, you know, that's what, what happens. Yeah. I mean, it would be a lot worse if I just dreamt nightmares or if I just dreamt nothing at all. That would be kind of not too fun at all if you ask me at least um, so I do prefer to actually dream dreams yeah <laughs> so that's about it you know I have a project I have a a dream project that's actually a nice goal I have to say ah, except for that what's going on then I, I did have something interesting to talk about um, but I kind of lost the thread of the needle or whatever you say so let's just score some goals instead and win the super cup because yeah because that's what you want to do, basically. Yeah. Uh, come on. Yeah, I, I talked about tonight. Uh, I'm bringing over some people to my home again. It's kind of weird, you know, ha living alone. Then you can bring people over all the time. I mean, it does mean that I have to clean a lot. But that's okay, you know. I mean, basically, <laughs> it makes me clean stuff that I wouldn't have cleaned. You say cleaned? 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 I wouldn't have cleaned it otherwise, so... You know, it's kind of a good thing to, to bring people over because then then I, yeah, <laughs> then I basically get the opportunity to, to clean my apartment. So it's, it's a good thing. It's like a, some kind of a symbiosis. I have fun while they are here. They have fun. They don't have to be at home. And I get to clean everything. So that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> as good as it gets, I guess, at least. Um, but yeah, maybe we can talk a little bit about the stress again. I don't know really. I mean, I don't know if I talked enough about that. But you know, being stressed, it's never fun. Especially if you can't sleep, you know, lying awake at night. I mean, I, I go to bed about midnight and I have to go get up at 8 in the morning. Then, you know, I, I stay, I can't fall asleep until like at least after 1 o'clock. Maybe later than that. And then, um, yeah, then basically after that I... Um, I wake up during the night, and you know, yeah, I've had some problems basically. I mean, I haven't slept bad before, so I don't know where this comes from. I mean, it makes me feel kind of bad about myself. Yeah! Because usually I, I kind of feel like I'm a person that, that can handle, you know, myself, handle my, keep myself in control and sleep whenever I want to. I used to be kind of laid back about things. If I have problems, I'd be like, nah, I'll worry about that tomorrow. But somewhere, you know, it kind of got the other way around. I, <laughs> yeah, I um, started worrying, you know, when I go to bed. I started thinking about things, basically. And that's, you know, it might be a good thing. But at the same time, when you go to bed, you should totally be able to just relax and, and sleep. Because sleep is important, you know. I don't want to wake up at 7 in the morning when I'm supposed to wake up at 8. And you know, when I wake up at 7, I'm tired, I feel like shit sometimes, and I can't fall asleep again. I mean, I don't know if you even want to listen to this, because it's just whining, basically. Uh, so let's talk about something else, yeah, we can talk about video games. Um, well, there are some other groups that, you know, we're not, not the only group making games, and another game, or another group, uh, basically, they kind of have some deals about their games. It's kind of a, a serious teaching games in which you're a little cloud and you travel around and you teach kids about the water cycle or whatever you call it. And it's very, you know, it's, it's nice. I'm a good friend with the project leader in that group and he's a nice guy and it's a really cool idea that I want to work on and I told him before, you know, I would love to work on this idea. And yeah, yeah, he's basically gotten some some contacts now because the, the teachers really likes his game as well, and um, he's yeah he's basically decided to probably continue working on the game when the project is over, but at the same time he doesn't really like his group that much or, or some people, 
um, so he wants to you know create his own team basically and he you know he told me that you know I should probably be able to work kind of good with you because I'm good at writing I'm a nice person we get along well and we we can be honest to each other so hopefully you know if, if I get the opportunity to I'll totally join that project and you know maybe you know I won't get paid obviously but you know all um, what do you call it? Erfarenheter? Experiences? Yeah, all experiences are good experiences, you know, when it comes to work experience at least. You know, if you, if you have, if you can point at something and say, I helped made this. Then, you know, future employers, they might be like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, you have something that other people don't. Then we might hire you. Yeah, so that's a good thing. I do wish to, to work on that project and I've told him that. And the best thing is if, if I get if I get the possibility to work on the project, I can basically <laughs> then I don't have to to get another summer job because you know it will take a lot of time. Even though I won't get paid for it, basically I can still, you know, I I don't really need money, but work experience is always good. So yeah, if I can get some work experience connected or that is connected to to the thing that I'm studying, that will help me out a lot in the future. So hopefully, yeah, I'll be able to to basically join the project in the future and work on it during the summer and have a lot of fun so I'm, I'm looking forward to that and I'm looking forward to winning this super cup as well yes ha um, so yeah I mean it's looking good for, for many people and hopefully I'm one of them we'll, we'll see what happens though maybe I'll you know <laughs> maybe I'll bre break down completely and start crying and sitting in a corner the entire day and be like ah oh, I hate this and then I move home to my parents again and cry even more and then I yeah, then, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I want to go down. I don't want to go down that route. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Basically, I'm a nice person. I deserve nice things, like one million subscribers. Maybe not though. But <laughs> yeah. And next up, oh, we're actually going to play with the national team again. It's been a long time, and I'm earning a lot of money. It's like one million each month, almost, for each game. I like that a lot. I enjoy that a lot. I do. Let's see. We should totally treat these horses. Yeah, let's let's take this will probably be kind of a long episode because I've done a lot of things except for playing playing the matches. So yeah, hopefully you'll you'll get an episode that is up to 30 minutes long and filled with content that you enjoy. I hope so at least. Um yeah, I mean hmm. I actually looked at my phone while the, the, <laughs> the horse was running. I, I want to see the time and all that stuff because, as I said, I'm, I'm expecting guests. But, you know, I still want to be able to, to record things. I want to stay ahead of the, the schedule. I don't want to give you any days without any recordings. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, also... Oh, I, I shouldn't even ask you about things because no one ever replies anyway. That's kind of shitty. <laughs> why, why don't you reply when I ask you things? <laughs> no, but... Um, it's okay. Let's see. Yeah, sure. We should totally, totally win this shit. Um, yeah. Life is good, except for that. I mean, all, all that I miss now is a goddamn girlfriend, and I need to find that as well. Yes. I mean, it might be kind of hard. <laughs> it might be very hard, you know. But maybe I'll find someone tonight. Who knows? Um, Slatan knows. Yeah, no. But uh, yeah, we'll hope for the best. Hope for the best always. I can basically, I can probably talk about my, I had a weird experience at the store today. Just win this one, please. Don't, don't you lose this. Mm. Yes. Ha. Sweet. That was kind of a close one, actually. And I went to the store today to buy some chips and coke and milk and all that stuff for, for tonight. I also um, bought some blades to, to shave myself. I have the kind of shaving stick, but I needed new blades. And you know the, the the one the lady who 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 I paid to buy those things in the store. What do you call it? The, the cashier or whatever you call it. She's like, oh yeah, so so it was the blades. They cost a lot. And I was like, yeah 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 yeah. That's okay. That's okay. You know, I need to shave. As you can see, I have a little bit of a beard. And she's like, but it shouldn't be that expensive. And at the same time, a guy was like touching my wares down you know they have that kind of band which they send the wares down to so you can go down and pack them over there um, and the guy he was touching them and I'm like, I'm like you know hey, hey, hey. Yeah! 
I didn't say yeah, but you know, I said, hey, th those are, are my words, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would appreciate if you didn't touch them. Then he continued touching them, and at the same time, the lady was talking to me, and she. <laughs> I had to pay at the same time, so it was kind of confused for me. A lot of things to keep track of, you know. I don't want to basically. I, it wasn't that I didn't trust him, but I don't want to, to get anywhere stolen that I've actually paid for uh, in this shop as well. I mean, that's kind of a bad place to get things stolen in the actual shop right next to the counter. That'd be kind of weird, actually. Uh, but she's like, yeah, yeah, you know, but you, they, they shouldn't be that expensive. I'm like, no, I, I guess not, but you know, I need to, I need to, to you know, I, I, I'm, I'm ready to pay for for it, you know, it's it's important to look nice. She's like, yeah, but you know, yeah, yes, just be careful when you shave. And she actually said that, she's like, she, she told me to be careful when I shave. And I'm like, yeah, I usually try to be careful when <laughs> whenever I shave myself, you know. I, I try to not cut myself because cutting myself might be kind of a bad thing, you know. It might get it might get kind of bad, you know. I don't want any scars in my face or anywhere else. So I was, I was a little bit confused. I mean, maybe she has tried to make conversation, but it was at the same time she's like, "Oh, maybe he's going to cut himself. Oh, I need to, I need to make sure that he knows that I know." Or I don't know. <laughs> maybe I think too much, uh, but it kind of felt awkward. I mean, as I said, she was probably just trying to be nice, she didn't say anything rude directly, but it kind of <laughs> felt weird in that situation, especially when I was looking out for my, my wares. Um, but you know, when I got down there, the guy, he, he excused himself and said, you know, oh, I saw the milk coming and basically his family was behind me, so he thought that it was their wares, but you know, you know, no problem, but still a little bit of a weird situation, especially you now when you wake up on a Saturday, I kind of slept. 10 hours after sleeping badly for a week and you know just doing that um, is this the World Cup by the way why am I playing against Costa Rica I don't know <laughs> but you know I kind of felt bad I didn't really I, you know w woke up I drank some water ate breakfast and took a cup of coffee and you know if you just take a cup of coffee and nothing else then you just sit in front of your computer for an hour then you feel kind of weird especially if you slept a lot and slept weirdly then you oops <laughs> then you uh, feel kind of weird and then I went to the store feeling like that so I was like oh what's what's going on here come on seriously nah you know <laughs> it's basically yeah I could have chosen a better mood to be in when I went to the store I wasn't mad but you know I just felt felt like if my brain was some kind of a do you know like cookie do yeah, or dough, maybe you say dough, yeah, do is something, yeah, that's not how you pronounce it, I guess. But, you know, my, my brain felt like dough, basically. Um, so, yeah, that was my story at the store. <laughs> that's what happens in my town, yes. In other towns, you know, people, people fight and people get murdered and people make millions of dollars and all things like that. But in my town, I had a weird conversation at the store. That's my life, and I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it, yes. You can't say anything about me. Maybe you can. <laughs> I don't care too much. You can tell me whatever you want to. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. We'll probably never meet anyway. Yeah! I mean, I, w I would actually look forward to the time if, if I get like 500,000 subscribers, and then I go to some sort of a convention and people, you know, they walk forward and greet me. I would love that. I would totally love that, um, but I mean, it won't. May maybe it will never happen. But if it happens, it will take a couple of years at least. But that's okay. I like what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I mean, I kind of feel this is this kind of relaxing. It's actually more relaxing than um, than yeah, just playing a game in some ways, and more relaxing than watching a movie, especially if it's in the middle of the day. I want to watch movies at the night, basically, or the evening. Uh, and it's more relaxing that, you know, before I actually started making videos to YouTube, maybe it was more than two years ago now, uh, then I just, you know, I sat a lot and I just browsed the internet. I didn't, I, I mean, I could spend hours doing nothing. And this is at least something, you know. I mean, I'm making people happy and all that stuff. And also, I'm, I'm basically 
practicing my charisma a lot and that's that's actually a very very important thing to have charisma also I'm, I'm practicing my, my English skills and you know my basic maybe storytelling I mean when I try to, to tell stories in real life it usually ends up being kind of bad but yeah yeah um, basically I'm, I'm practicing a lot of social skills by doing this and I, I like it so I'm, I'm very pleased with spending time on my YouTube channel and yeah it's it's good it's really really good um, hopefully I mean hopefully I'll be able to continue doing it for a long time as I said I kind of I didn't really miss it for the half year that I wasn't recording anything you know when I was living in the house in a house uh, in a room in a house you know during this this autumn I didn't really miss it that much, but you know, it feels good to be back as well. Uh, so yeah. yeah, especially, you know, w when it gives me something, you know, when I lived in that house, I could basically spend hours doing nothing as well. I was kind of back to the old, old things, but now hopefully I'll live in this apartment for at least two and a half years. So yeah, if you, if you join me on my adventure for two and a half years, then, pe then things will be, you know, awesome. Yeah, we'll make it together. Hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Three games, two horse races and some talking. Uh, it felt like kind of a long episode actually. I don't know, maybe we'll reach not 30 minutes but 28 at least. We'll see what happens. Yeah, but hopefully you enjoyed this episode. As I said, hopefully I'll see you all around the next time. Leave a like if you want to. Have a great time. And goodbye.